ask all of you to take your seats so that we may begin our program. Thank you so much. Good morning, Good morning. and welcome to the apex of a series of Founders Day activities celebrating 142 years of the founding of Southern University and Agricultural and Mechanical College. I thought somebody would have clapped right there. For those of you that do not know who I am, I am Donovan Segura and I am honored to serve as your presider on today. We are indeed thrilled to be assembled in person in the Felton G. Clark Activity Center, as we affectionately refer to this structure as the mini dome to celebrate this institution's rich and global history. As we reflect in context on the incredible obstacles our visionary founders faced during a very shameful and turbulent time in our nation's history, they had to get into, as one of our ancestors, Mr. John Lewis would say, they had to get into some good trouble so that millions from across the globe would be able to learn and improve on what we know to be the flagship campus of the only HBCU system in the world. An institution beginning with 12 brave and committed students to now an inclusive 1890 land grant and global research Carnegie II designated institution. We've come a long way since 1880. And so we use this Founders Day convocation to acquaint you, to inform you with our history and to prepare you consciously and conscientiously on how to assume your role in adding strength to our institution's great legacy. As we move quickly into this quintessential rehearsal of preparing this world for all it can be, allow me to invite Father Thomas F. Clark of Immaculate Conception Catholic Church to offer the invocation. Let us bow our heads and close our eyes in prayer. Good and gracious God, we praise, bless, thank and adore you, O Lord. We come before you as humbly and as gratefully as we can because we know that every good gift comes from you. Lord, this is the day that you have made, and we rejoice and are glad in it as we celebrate the 142nd anniversary of the founding of Southern University. Lord, we praise you that you are a way maker, a miracle worker, and a promise keeper. Lord, when there was no way for higher education for African Americans, you made a way through the determination, courage, and perseverance of the founders of Southern University. Lord, by the power of your wondrous miracles of care and blessing, you provided for the growth and prosperity of Southern University through the hard work of students, faculty, staff, and administration throughout these 142 years. Lord, you have kept your promise. If you said it, you will do it. Through the years, right down to this 23rd day of the month of March in the year of 2022. And Lord, you didn't bring us this far just to leave us. Lord, you are faithful and for this, we praise you. We pray, Lord, that you will make each student, faculty, staff, and administrator 
a living stone and build this Jaguar nation into a spiritual house so that we can offer you a sacrifice of praise and service for our brothers and our sisters. Bless everyone on program today, Lord. May everything we say and everything we do be for the greater glory of your most precious and sacred name. Amen. Thank you, Father Clark, for petitioning the Sovereign One on our behalf. The deplorable actions of foreign leaders have put at risk the lives of millions of people in Ukraine and undermined the concept of sovereignty. Southern University stands against cruelty and wanton aggression, and we hold to hope for a resolve. Separate and apart from this action, most recently Southern University lost one of its gems, a senior College of Business student, Mr. Javante Barber. Southern University stands with these families and foreign lands and offers positive thoughts and well wishes to all impacted. Would you kindly join me in a moment of silence for our fallen Jaguar and the fallen in Ukraine at this time? Thank you. Please now prepare your minds to receive one of the most noted symphonic bands in the land as they perform a musical selection. Let's give them a rousing round of applause.
Again, let's appreciate our accomplished, precise, and talented student musicians. Under the direction of assistant band directors Cedric Todd and Safi Raouf. Allow me very quickly to share three quick facts with you about the institution. Let me know if you know them. Did you know, Mr. Johnny, that in 1915, a year after Southern University was established in Baton Rouge, President Joseph Samuel Clark invited Booker T. Washington and he accepted the invitation to come to stand in solidarity to inform the nation that Southern University had the support of one of the top educators in the country, Booker T. Washington. Did you know that during the 1920s and the 1930s, Southern University featured agricultural days like we do to this day, Dr. Marshall. However, during this time, Southern University featured George Washington Carver as one of the main participants. And George Washington Carver, I want you to hear me, Southern Lab, would come to Southern year after year to teach students and farmers on how to form more efficiently. And finally, did you know that in the year of 2000, the late President Emeritus and global leader of South Africa, President Emeritus Nelson Mandela, toured imparted knowledge and offered the commencement address right here on the flagship campus. Additionally, during his visit, that great and distinguished and accomplished Dean, Dr. Damien Ijigiri, and President Emeritus, the now Honorable Dr. Leon Tarver and other college leaders led the efforts to have the college renamed to the Nelson Mandela School of Public Policy and Urban Affairs, which was no small occasion, all while President Nelson Mandela was here to see it. Southern University is truly a place like no other. As we expand on our 142 year legacy, allow me to relinquish my stand to Southern University's royalty. Um, the sitting president of the Student Government Association, Mr. Kevin Taylor Jarrell II, as he offers us the occasion at this time. Good morning, Southern University. I consider it a privilege and also an honor to participate in the celebration of the 142nd Founders Day, which is one of our university's most oldest and cherished traditions. For the purpose of today's occasion, I would like to share excerpts from the Founders Day address given over 90 years ago by Southern University's Baton Rouge's first president, Dr. Joseph Samuel Clark. Dr. Clark aimed to annually recognize the achievements of Southern University after it relocated from New Orleans in 1914. Dr. Clark stated, the present Southern University was not constructed on its location by mere chance, but it came into existence through struggles, strenuous effort, and a fight. The location of the new school was a paramount of consideration. The first location was Grambling. The first location that was offered was Grambling. The second was New Iberia. The next was Donaldsonville. And then three places near Baton Rouge, which resulted finally in the present spot where it is today. On March 9, 1914, instituted the Founders Day of the present Southern University. The state had built for the school, a little box house, which some of you may know, which is by the bluff. And in this little box house, that the opening exercises, which were held at 10 a.m., marked the beginning of the school day. The enrollment that morning was 42 students and seven faculty. And the plantation home already on the property was used as the, administ the administrative headquarters, the girls' dormitory, the mess hall, and also the hospital. Continuing Dr. Clark's message from 1932, he said that this school's beginning on this broken down farm 
has made a remarkable progress and that the students enrollment has gradually grown to 1,034 students and with a faculty increasing from seven to 54 who have been selected from the best institutions in the country. This university has grown steadily and presently has 35 buildings upon a beautifully located campus which stands as a monument to Negro education. Dr. Clark said, while we realize buildings and land do not make an institution, but the faculty and also the student body must be the measuring test of a great institution. As a 2021-2022 Student Government Association president, I wanna thank Dr. Clark for his visionary leadership and steadfast commitment to Southern University. And I also wanna challenge my fellow students to treasure our collective past and to not uphold and to not only uphold the standards of what our founders and also to continue to make great strides as we are Southern Knights. Thank you. And I hope that you all enjoy Founders Day. Thank you, Mr. President. Join me now in welcoming the highly skilled and spirited voices of the Southern University Gospel Choir under the direction of Mr. Ernest Bowman. Let's give them a rousing round of applause. Everything's gonna be alright. 
many of you will agree with the gospel choir that it's going to be all right. I'll say it one more time. I hope the volume is up. How many of you believe with the gospel choir that it's going to be all right? Well, if you believe it, put your hands together. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there, right there. That's it right there. We've been through enough. COVID brought us through enough, but it's going to be all right. Let me stop. I have a job. This is a public institution, but I do believe it's going to be all right. Well, 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 well. Thank you so much. I was raised in the church so I could identify. When you're going through, you know that it's going to be all right. Let's celebrate the gospel cry one more time. I digress, Dr. Belton, I'm sorry. Don't call me in, please don't. Please now receive Miss Latavia Roberts as she comes to introduce our speaker. Let's give her a rousing round of applause. Good morning, all. I'll now proceed with the introduction of our speaker. Laquita Thomas works as an information technology project manager and certified agile scrum master with Texas Instruments Incorporated in Dallas, Texas, and has been with the company for 28 years. Laquita is very active in the areas of engineering and IT recruitment and talent development at Texas Instruments and was appointed campus champion for TI at Southern University in AM College in 2003 and in 2007 as an executive sponsor. During Thomas's tenure as executive sponsor, Texas Instruments donated $750,000 to support student scholarships, the TI automated test engineering class, and student organizations in the SU College of Sciences and Engineering. Thomas was educated in STEM, having earned a Bachelor of Science degree in mathematics with a minor in, chem in computer science from Southern University at AM College in December 1993. She earned a Master of Business Administration, specializing in e commerce from the University of Dallas Graduate School of Management in 2001. Thomas is afforded many opportunities to give back to the community as a Diamond Life member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. She celebrated. 25 years of service in sorority in 2019. Thomas is passionate about assisting our next generation of leaders and their transition from the dorm room to the boardroom and spends time mentoring college students and new college grads on career planning and chartering their personal roadmap. Thomas, who has mentored and advised countless students over the years, created a career bootcamp one-on-one -on -one workshop. The workshop is designed to assist college students with preparing for land and landing great careers after graduation. She enjoys sharing career leading practices with college students and has conducted the bootcamp workshop at HBCU's Morehouse, Spelman College, and Southern University and a &M College. Thomas, a true servant leader, is dedicated to impacting the gen next generation with education, career, and professional development opportunities. She firmly believes in the scriptures, your gift will make room for you, and to whom much is given, much is required. She's enthusiastic, energized, and excited about the road ahead and believes the best is yet to come. Thomas is an extremely proud and active member of the Southern University Alumni Federation and was elected as the first female national president of the 80-year-old organization, July 2018. She is honored and humbled to serve as the 19th national president for the Southern University Alumni Federation and is committed to increasing alumni engagement, issue support, helping Southern reestablish national academic promise and building relationships with more corporate partners to benefit the SU system and alumni federation. Thomas is over the moon excited to continue giving back to the SU system, the students and the best alumni on the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, Laquita Thomas. Well, good morning, Southern University. I think y'all can do a little bit better than that. Good morning, Southern University. You're looking awesome today and I am delighted to be here uh, to celebrate our 142nd Founders Day. 
I want to, before I start, I think Dr. Seguer was reading my notes last night at 2 a.m. because I was definitely in line with making sure that we take a moment to show love to the Barber family. Uh, we actually have someone in our alumni affairs office uh, who we are definitely walking lockstep with during this time of sympathy. Um, and so again, if we can remember this family in our prayers and in the upcoming days as they will be celebrating the life of Javante. Also want to celebrate Southern Lab. SU Lab, where you at? Make some noise. Yes, you're looking awesome. And we celebrate 100 years with you. And I was mentioning to Dr. Merrick that I had a few coins that I wanted to share. So for every year that you're celebrating, I have $5 on that. So please accept a, a very humble donation from me uh, in celebration of your 100 years. And then in addition to that, we have Scotland Bill Magnet in the house. There you go, that's right, girl, rep your school. Be excited, that's right. So we welcome all of you on today. Thank you so much to this awesome Founders Day Committee for the very gracious invitation to stand and the opportunity to share a few thoughts during this 2022 Founders Month commemoration. I'm truly honored and humbled. I wanna also bring greetings on the ever young 80 year old Southern University Alumni Federation our dynamic executive board, and I see a few sprinklings out there in the audience, and our interim executive di director, and I always call him the ever fly, Dr. Derek Warren. We thank you so much for the leadership of this team, our executive board, and I also must acknowledge with much appreciation the continual work and diligence of our Southern University Alumni Affairs team. Our whole team of two, what, two and a half, Michelle? They get it done. So you all show some love to our office, to our leaders. We thank you for all that you do. Somebody tell Ms. Rutledge that I gave her a shout out. After achieving 80 years as an organization, I would have to say that the Southern University Alumni Federation is aging backwards, and that is awesome for us. And there's much appreciation to everyone who supports the Southern University Alumni Federation. And I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge with all love and appreciation, all of our chapter presidents across the SU Alumni Nation, as I call it, who continue to go hard in the paint for Southern University every day and to all of our incredible alumni chapters. So whether you're selling double good popcorn, you're boiling crawfish, it's that time y'all, it's getting close. You're frying catfish, you're doing a mean second line at a chapter Mardi Gras event. And I saw some of y'all in LA, I won't make any names out there. You're providing snacks for our student athletes or our student academic organizations when they come to your city. We owe a debt of gratitude to these amazing alumni and all of our alumni chapters. They get up early and they stay up late. So you all please show some love to our chapters, to our alumni presidents. If you all are listening, put some hearts in the comments on social media so we'll know that you're there. Dr. Belton, what can I say? Thank you for all of the awesome years of service to the Southern University system. We will certainly have the opportunity to show you and celebrate you during the national conference in July, but I did not wanna miss this opportunity to say thank you today. Now, what can we, yes, absolutely. What can we say about our amazing students who are here on today, our WIN Ensemble, you played excellently, and we thank you so much for being here. But now I gotta give some love to these folks over here because as an alum of what was then called the Southern University Interdenominational Gospel Choir, can I get an amen? I sat there in those robes 
and you have no many times, to, Mrs. Foster Montgomery can tell you how many times we had to sell Krispy Kreme donuts to get robes and perform and we were traveling all over. So choir, you blessed us on today. Thank you so very much. And I do have a little token of love for you as well. They were awesome. I thought we were about to go to church for a second, Dr. Seguera. So when I was asked to be the keynote speaker today, it's, it's interesting because I don't really feel like a keynote speaker because we're Southern. So I feel like this is more of a conversation with my SU family. So let's have that conversation. Before we go further, I do wanna just acknowledge some classmates that are here. Thank you all for being here. I see you out in the audience. And thank you so much, Ms. Roberts, for the, the uh, gracious um, introduction. Thank you. So let's jump on in. How many of us are familiar with the very aggressive stay up all night, voting, falling asleep, voting, did I vote for somebody else's school campaign that's called Home Depot Retool Your School? Anybody, everybody? We should all be clapping at that point. This means that you all have not been voting. <laughs> And speaking of, have you voted today? We're gonna do that at the end. But since we as the Southern University system are all actively engaged, we are completely in retool your school mode. It's only appropriate that we talk today about retooling our school. As we reflect on the Southern University 142 year journey, we should pause with the heart of gratitude because we've made it this far. Depending on the era you attended Southern University, and that's for those of us that are alumni, I'm sure we can point to some global challenge the country faced. And even you, our current students, our current faculty and staff and administrators, you've had to endure something like none other You've had to sit in your offices. You've had to go to classes with a mask on. You've had to endure temperature checks just to enter the campus. Then you've had to be socially distant and all of this in the name of survival. After 142 years, we recognize the challenges we've had as the Southern University system as well as the many successes. And all of those things have helped us to arrive at this place. So in addition to all of that, I'm a little nerd, y'all, I'll admit it. I went to dictionary.com and I looked up the word retool. I have to give some consideration also for the number of years that we've been in existence and that's 142. So the mathematician in me, as was stated earlier, I had to play around with the 142. Now, Dr. Warren is kind of a nerd like me and he was doing some things Saturday with the numbers 142, but I'm not gonna go that deep. So I did a research for the meaning of one, four and two individually. And though those numbers are significant in their, in their own right, it was when I added the numbers together and arrived at the number seven that the path became more clear. The number seven, what does the number seven represent y'all? This is a conversation. Completion and perfection. And as we find ourselves embarking upon this season of new, this is a really great time for us to retool our school. What is the season of new? Well, we have a new Southern University system president. And in the world of alumni, we will soon have a new director. In the next four months, we will have a new national president and leadership team. And we cannot forget that we have a new Southern University System Board of Supervisors, chair and co-chair. Our head football coaches do. We are a new research to designation institution. We have a new master plan. And there are other leadership changes that are happening on the campuses. All of these things are happening simultaneously and it's not by happenstance. So again, this is a good time. No, it's a great time. 
It's actually a perfect time for us to retool our school. And since we're having this conversation on today, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't have some retool tips. So y'all get your notes out. We're gonna go through seven very quick tips about retooling our school. What are those tips? I'm glad you asked. Retool tip number one, we must work collaboratively and intentionally as a team to tackle the low hanging fruit in our organizations across the system. Low hanging fruit creates much needed opportunities for us as an institution and our students. Low hanging fruit could look like responding to a company who wants to partner with us and provide new careers for our students. Or perhaps it could be a company who wants to donate funds so that we'll have additional scholarships for, excuse me, for our students that can impact enrollment. Whatever it is, we cannot overlook these opportunities. So if a response is what is needed, then let's work together to provide that. Retool tip number two, we must have a research to state of mind. In January of this year, Southern University was designated as an R2 Research 2 institution. And while some of us had to do a little research to say, what in the heck is an R2? Like, you know, we were trying to figure that out, right? Some of us really knew what it was and we knew that it was wonderful and we could feel the pride. You could just feel it all around the country and rightfully so. With that designation comes the challenge for us to maintain this major achievement. And here again, another opportunity for us to work collaboratively as a team to not only sustain the R2 level, but also aspire to become a research one institution. While we recognize the R2 status can be removed and we're gonna work hard to not let that happen, we must plan the work needed to keep our institution competitive with clear actions. We must retain and analyze our data to show the movement in the areas of enrollment and graduation rates and other key performance indicators. We have to tell our story, Southern University. Number three, we must consistently get great results. We want to expand our brand and become part of different and more impactful discussions and scenarios. We want to be included favorably on reporting agency lists like US News and World Reports that rank us competitively against other universities. We also want to be part of discussions by major gift donors who provide funds to our peer or institutions and they provided those. So with an R2 state of mind, we will become part of more of those conversations and we are definitely trending in the right direction and we should be excited about that. We must keep our foot on the gas so that we see the fruit of our labor and the future generations. All of these students that are here can also see that. Retool tip number four, we cannot allow the items we don't do well to overshadow the areas where we shine. Southern University, we do so many things well. And we have alumni all across the country that are doing amazing things. Some of them are sitting here in this room today. They're being recognized in many diverse areas all across the country. We must continue to acknowledge and highlight where we shine, we have to tell our story. Retool tip number five. So speaking of those areas where we don't execute well, let's just go on and have the discussion, y'all. We have to tackle this area aggressively so that we change the narrative. As national president of the alumni, I hear it. Dr. Belton and I have had countless discussions. Oh, Southern, y'all don't answer the phone. Oh, you don't return emails. It all comes under the area of customer service. And in this day and age of social media, the areas where we do not execute well, y'all know it's gonna be exposed far more than the areas where we excel. We are all customers and we are all stakeholders. So we have to think about how we wanna be treated and how we're treating others. We have to agree again, collaboratively as a team 
to change that narrative by focusing on our execution. And if we lack knowledge, then let's go and have those discussions. Let's talk and let's benchmark against other institutions and organizations that execute well in those areas. And let's learn what we need to so that we can close that gap. This is gonna be extremely critical for us as an institution as we continue to move forward. Retool tip number six, I'm almost finished. We need to get in the game. It sounds easy enough, right? We have Southern Knights who are entrepreneurs, mentors, public speakers, television personalities, executive level corporate leaders, senior pastors, activists, and we could just be here all day naming who we are, judges that are in the audience. Our students deserve to hear from us. They deserve to learn about our journey and what it will take for them to be successful and for them to achieve and reach their goals. We once sat where all of you are sitting. We were once in convocation and we were once in the buildings in TT Lane and Harris Hall and Stewart Hall. We are Southern University, we sat there. So sometimes just hearing from us, alumni that are successful can make a really big difference in what a student chooses as a major or if they decide to start what they finished and get their degree from Southern University. There are many of us that are on the sidelines watching it all happen and unfold, but we need our SU soldiers to get in the game. Now y'all know at this point, I was gonna insert the little band, you know, you don't wanna go to war with a soldier. We gotta be SU soldiers, right? So we want our students to feel confident that they can compete in this global environment. Retool tip number seven, and I'm almost finished. We cannot get tired now, Southern University. And I know some of us are, and that's, that's okay and that's fair. But we have far too many amazing things, projects that are happening all across the Southern University system on all of our campuses. We cannot slow down the pace. So that means that we have to keep our health and wellness a priority, and I'm looking at myself with that too, so that we can be the best Southern University for our current students and all of these future students who will be a, a part of the Southern University family in the future. So let's get excited. Are y'all excited? Let's get excited about the road ahead. Again, it will take all of us working together as a team, how are we gonna work? Collaboratively and intentionally. So as I take my seat, again, I'm very grateful and humbled for the few moments that we've had to spend together today. One thing that we all have in common is that we love Southern University. This is the best HBCU on the planet. Can I get an amen? And our love may look different, and that's a great thing because there are many needs to fulfill. I truly believe the best is yet to come for our wonderful university. And yes, we've had some very rough days and some very rough seasons, but even with that reality, God continues to send us very regular reminders that our best days are still ahead. And I hope that we all believe that. So happy Founders Month, Southern University. Let us take the time to retool our school so that we can be ready for what lies ahead of us as pure and true as the gold and blue. Thank you very much. Thank you, President Laquita Thomas, for reminding us of our charge. We thank you for not only delivering that powerful and timely message, but for the work you do daily to advance the mission, vision, and legacy of Southern University. Again, we thank you. This time, we have a small token of appreciation, Dr. Belton. If you will join me. And this wonderful plaque says 2022 Founders Day Convocation 
for exemplary service and dedication to our keynote speaker, Laquita A. Thomas, National President of the Southern University Alumni Federation, presented on this day, March 23rd, 2022, Southern University Baton Rouge, Dr. Ray Belton, President and Chancellor. Thank you so much. It is my high honor to introduce to some and present to others a servant leader, a Renaissance man, distinguished, accomplished, one who works daily to ensure Southern University is better today than it was on yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, the president and chancellor of Southern University, Dr. Ray L. Belton. Well, uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, I know the uh, uh, Founders Day Committee was very purposeful in trying to ensure that the program uh, lasted no more than one hour, so I will be brief, but I do believe uh, it appropriate to again acknowledge our keynote speaker of this morning, uh, Ms. Laquita Thomas, or President Laquita Thomas, for her passion uh, in leading and collaborating with alums across this country uh, and advocating uh, for Southern University and AM College. Let's give her another round of applause. You know, I am uh, joined uh, this morning uh, with one uh, of the five uh, chancellors, uh, Chancellor John Pierre, uh, who is uh, indeed celebrating 75 years at, uh, of uh, celebrating the law school's 75th year uh, anniversary. Uh, and indeed, I am simply honored uh, to have been afforded the, this occasion to offer uh, some remarks on our 142nd year of advancing academic excellence at Southern University and a and College. You know, as I was perusing uh, the program uh, this morning, it, it offered us a snapshot of the history uh, of Southern University and it alluded to uh, the founders uh, of this uh, institution, uh, the presidents and chancellors, uh, those who were instrumental uh, in uh, shaping uh, the destiny uh, of Southern University. Uh, and, and as I perused, you know, this gathering uh, this morning, uh, it again struck me that uh, many who are here today and who continue to uh, shape and uh, advance the goals of this institution, you too can be seen as those who continue to define Southern University at a &M College. Uh, I, uh, and so I am certainly aware uh, of the contributions and efforts of the vice chancellors, uh, the vice presidents, uh, of Southern University, and I would like for them to stand and be recognized. The vice chancellors and vice presidents of Southern University. And I know of those who work diligently in the trenches uh, in shaping and transforming a curricula in such a way that it brings about understanding 
and, and provide that foundation uh, for students. And I speak of the deans who bring leadership over our colleges and I see them in the audience and I certainly would like for them to be, stand and, and be recognized at this time. Thank you for your service. Uh, and uh, generally, I wanted to really thank the faculty uh, and the staff uh, of our institutions uh, who do so much in an unselfish way uh, to advance uh, our role, scope, and mission. Uh, and those, uh, even here today, where we're celebrating their years of investment, uh, 10, 20, 30, I'm aware of individuals who are celebrating 40 and 50 years of service to Southern University. Let's give them all a round of applause. If not for their labor, their commitment, their dedication to Southern University, I dare say we would not exist today. But because of them, there is clear evidence that Southern University continues to evolve uh, as the most prolific HBCU uh, in this country. And there's evidence to uh, give indication that that statement is true. Uh, and as uh, my president just alluded to, uh, just more recently, uh, Southern University was ranked uh, 20th amongst the 105 HBCUs across this country. But even within that group, uh, only nine of those 20 institutions were public institutions and Southern University could clearly uh, gloat on being ranked one of the top nine institutions or HBCUs uh, in this country and continues to grow. This last fall, uh, actually we, uh, and we, uh, in alluding to the collective productivity uh, of, of the campuses on the Baton Rouge landmass, Southern University today is enjoying more than 8,300 students on the Baton Rouge campus, a figure or enrollment that has never been achieved or that the last time it was achieved was in 2010. And again, that is a compliment That's a compliment uh, to the efforts uh, of uh, many uh, individuals to include uh, our dedicated faculty and, and staff. And I wanted to just take this moment. I, I found myself uh, seldom uh, uh, recognizing him, but he do so much uh, in terms of providing guidance uh, and, and that guidance and dedication is revealing itself now. Uh, because as President Thomas alluded, in January, uh, something that has been long sought uh, by this institution, in January, we were recognized and distinguished as one of 10 HBCUs across this country uh, who uh, are seen as R2 institutions or doctorate uh, research intensive institutions. And that person who has really led that charge is Dr. Uh, Michael Stubblefield. And Mike, I want you to stand up uh, and, and be recognized for your guidance. And of course, our faculty uh, on throughout the Baton Rouge landmass who has been so instrumental uh, really in, uh, uh, in advancing uh, our research uh, aims uh, at, at, at the university. So we have, as a matter of, in the toolbox, so to speak, a strategic plan uh, that is guiding our efforts. Uh, and more recently, a master plan where, that will serve as an opportunity for every member within the Southern University community to invest. Uh, we are poised uh, in the latter part of this year to launch, 
a capital campaign that will give evidence to the fact of how we're gonna to continue to grow uh, this institution. Uh, right now, we have projects uh, that are ongoing that speaks to uh, our efforts to literally transform the Southern University Baton Rouge landmass to include new buildings in, 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 the, in the College of Business, uh, in the College of uh, Science uh, and Engineering, uh, in the College of Nursing, uh, and, and clearly uh, being able to refurbish uh, the bluff uh, and to add more student apartments and a new student union. All of those things are on the horizon for Southern University. And it really provides the backdrop, I think, of inviting more students uh, to Southern University to include uh, our uh, students who are here with us from, the, from Southern Lab. Let's give them an, another round of applause, if you will. Understand that they, uh, in fact, uh, are a magnet institution uh, that affords students uh, experiences uh, uncommon uh, amongst their peers in terms of academic excellence. Uh, but I understand as well that they are an institution of champions, uh, champions who have won not only the uh, state championship in football, but more recently the state championship in men's basketball and women's basketball. Let's give them another uh, round uh, of applause. You know, it has really been, it has really been my joy, uh, my honor, uh, you know, to have been afforded uh, these few years to work on behalf of Southern University. And, and in the fall, we are poised to welcome the new president and chancellor uh, of Southern University and a &M College, uh, Mr. Dennis Shields an individual who has proven to be an exceptional leader and who is already hitting the ground, engaging with our university community. You know, I anticipate much to come uh, as a result of his leadership. And uh, as our university choir said earlier, it's gonna be all right. It is simply gonna be all right. And so again, allow me just to uh, offer my appreciation uh, to all of you for enabling me the opportunity of serving Southern University and a and College. Let's have a wonderful Founders Day uh, and, uh, and have a spirit uh, of giving uh, throughout the year. Have a good day now. Thank you, Dr. Belton. It is my high honor now to present to you the Executive Vice Chancellor and Provost for Academic Affairs at Southern University and a and College, Dr. Bijoy Sahu, as he comes to offer a special presentation. Thank you, Dr. Segura. Madam President, one thing we all have in common here, we all love Southern University, thank you. I have the distinct pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, friends, to provide a citation, Southern University Jaguar Pride Medal of Honor. The Southern University Jaguar Pride Medal of Honor is presented by Southern University System to individuals in recognition of their extraordinary contribution to the university, the state of Louisiana, the nation, and the world. It may be given to recognize a lifetime contribution or a singular achievement. Those contributions which have had a particular significant impact 
and deemed likely to strongly influence future developments of scientific thought. The Southern University Jaguar Pride Medal of Honor is awarded to graduates, faculty, staff, and friends of the university whose particular efforts and contributions have added positively to the legacy of this university and indeed the welfare of mankind that have been exceptionally meritorious. Dean Andrews, often you talk about Jim Long's Good to Great, where the attributes of a great leader who has taken from an institution from being just good to greater heights to be great and is handing over the mantle to somebody who in this relay race is going to hand the baton while we are winning. Today, we recognize the exemplary accomplishments, commitment, trailblazing leadership, untiring dedication of our first ever Southern University System President and Southern University M College Chancellor, Dr. Ray L. Belton. Please stand and acknowledge our president, our chancellor. Dr. Belton, on behalf of the faculty, staff, alumni, board of supervisors, we present to you the Jaguar Pride Medal of Honor. Thank you, Dr. Sahu. As we continue celebrating the knowledge and work this institution exudes, we pause now to capture a moment of Southern University's most recent Carnegie II high research designation. Many of you should have signages. It should be on your seat. We're asking now that you will gather them and the media will help us to capture this moment. So we want you to hold them high. Come on, champs, help us, Scotland. I'm talking about Scotlandville and, and SU Lab, the, the, the champions. Hold them high, hold them high. Let's see how high SU Lab can hold them. Oh, they really, really high. All right. Thank you so much. See, our councilwoman is holding hers. She's even standing up holding hers. All right. Thank you so very much. All right, let's give Dr. Belton another rousing round of applause. This time we have a few acknowledgements that we would like to make. At this time, we certainly want to appreciate the Founders Day Committee for their excellent job under the direction of uh, Dr. Robin Merrick. Let's give her a rousing round of applause. I uh, stated we want to acknowledge those 10, 20, 30, Professor Smith, 40 and 50 year uh, service uh, to this institution employees. Let's celebrate them. I thought Mr. McClinton would have been here and I would have said 51. Don't tell him I said that. Of course, we want to acknowledge the, the presence of the Southern University Law Center. Again, President Chancellor John K. Pierre. We also acknowledge in his absence, the Chancellor of the Southern University Agricultural Research and Extension Center, Dr. Orlando F. McMeans. Would all of the elected officials, if you would stand, I don't want to miss anyone, all of our elected officials. See, we have judge here and councilwoman there, and let's give them a round of applause. 
Again, we do want to acknowledge Southern University Laboratories School. Uh, we have those champions, they are in the house. So let's celebrate them again. Come on, ho hold it up high, you deserve it. You deserve it, let's celebrate them. They have so many plaques, you all gonna need some help carrying that back to your school. You just took everything. That's what I just take it all under the direction of um, um, school leader, Mr. Herman Brister. Let's give him also a round of applause. We are also pleased and privileged to have Scotland Veal uh, Magnet High School under the direction of Principal Paul Jackson. Uh, it is my understanding that their boys basketball team also won state champions in their division. So let's celebrate them as well. And we do have refreshments for all. I think uh, Ms. D will, and Mr. Pugh, they will help us to uh, get to those at the conclusion of, this, of the program on today. But we do have refreshments for all of you at this time. Oh, yes, yes. How could I forget? We have the former chair of the Board of Supervisors. That is none other than Mr. Johnny Anderson. Let's give him a rousing round of applause. All right, I think I have some more persons. I'm not gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna call them all out. We are also thankful to have the president of the state of Louisiana's NAACP chapter, President Michael McClanahan. He's here with us, if you will stand. Good to see you, sir. All alumni, if you're an alumni of Southern University, let me see you stand. Let's celebrate our alumni at this time. All right. And visiting with us, uh, we have Dr. Nathaniel Boso and Mr. Samuel Akimia from Ghana. Dean Andrews and Dean Yagletu, uh is with them on today. So if you will stand with us, we're very happy to have you here with us on today, visiting from Ghana. Southern University is a global institution. I think this concludes my remarks. Uh, it has been my high honor and esteemed privilege to share this time with you on today. And at this time, we're calling now for the singing of our alma mater, after which we will have the benediction by Reverend Winton Anderson, who is the pastor of the Greater Philadelphia Missionary Baptist Church. Would you all join me in standing as we sing our alma mater?
we pause to conclude this auspicious occasion with a benediction. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, we thank you for what our eyes have seen today. We thank you for what our ears have heard. We thank you for the spirit of excellence, pride, and tradition that shall carry forth in our hearts. Let us never forget the calling and the cause. Let us never forget our mission and our mandate. As we leave this place, but never from your presence, go with us and stand by us and bring us back. And may we do our work in the spirit of Southern University. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.